Or a freshman putter in Blake Kane with that footing. Hit a 54-yarder last week. Gets this one away and kicks it toward the senior and Tony Carter from his 33. Carter to midfield. Tony Carter opens up 2008 by taking it out the gate for a touchdown. No flags. 67 yards. And the season is underway. The electrifying Tony Carter. Preston Parker, the normal punt return specialist for Florida State. He's sitting out two weeks. Carter went to the coaching staff. He returned punts year before last. Said, I want a chance to win that job, and then I want a chance to keep that job even when Parker comes back. And he's uh, made a good case for himself here in the early going. A place kicker in Zach Hobby in his debut. Boots through the extra point. First time in two years, Florida State has returned a punt for a touchdown. The first in Tony Carter's career. Florida State, without running a play offensively, leads Western Carolina on a rainy night in Dope, 7-0. First and goal. The handoff to Anton, trying to bounce outside, and he fights forward in that sand pit. Kept the legs going, Key. <laughs> he didn't get caught in quicksand. He finds the end zone. Well, he's very powerful as a little man. Bench press is about 450. Very strong thighs. And that time he earned those six points. Six for number six. His first score, the Knowles' first score by that offense this season. For the 22 year old senior. They call him Deuce because he wore number two in high school. Where's number six at this level? You can tack on Zach Hobby's extra point, and that Seminole lead swells to 14 to nothing. Anton Smith looked to be hemmed in for a loss on the play, sweeping left. Kept those legs going, Keith finds the end zone. Work and work and work, and you'll find pay dirt. Stay with us, we'll have more. The transition is smooth, far more efficient. The second year working together. Look at this. Off to the races. Burt Reed for the end zone. Touchdown, FSU. 41 yards. What's not to love? That's the speed that we talked about. And what they ask of these Florida State receivers is make sure the first man doesn't bring you down. Great blocking on the outside. And then Reed just turns on the afterburners and the low can him out. Safety took a bad angle and couldn't catch him. The first touchdown pass thrown this year by Christian. The first touchdown reception, a 41-yard jaunt. Many more to come, we imagine, for Burt Reed. It worked over good. That's Drew Weatherford pounded on his headgear. You say he loves to communicate? Is that the spin? He, uh, he's a talker. Watch this. That's his legs do the talking. Kid. Look at the downfield block and Surrency again with an excellent, I mean, excellent block and then just too much speed for the safety to get over. And Florida State scoring a, a pair of touchdowns within the span of a, just over three minutes. And the Knowles have opened this up 21 0. The special teams. Three consecutive years out of Warwick Dunn. The fade right to Surrency, and that's too easy. Number one with touchdown number one in a Seminole jersey. And that ball wasn't thrown well. That might have been the poorest throw that Ponders made that's been completed. And Surrency made it look easy. Christian Ponder, his second touchdown strike, and he connects here with Corey Surrency. Story in his own right. Surrency goes 6'5, 220. You know what his nickname is? Mm. Smurf. Aren't they little blue people? I remember Joe Gibbs had the Smurfs in the Super Bowl. Team. He's anything but those rather underside wide receivers. We'll just call him Papa Smurf. How about that? It's a big body, Keith, to get position. He I mean, is. Uh, never played a down in high school. Set out of competition, if you will, was down in the Miami area, just and has improved greatly. Christian Ponder finds him for the second time, a fresh set of downs from the 45 he operates in his thing.